In this video, I will show several ways to store photos and footage taken with the DJI Mini 4 Pro or the Air 3, according to the device, a computer, a smartphone or a tablet. I will also cover how to save screen recordings and screenshots. I will use a Mini 4 Pro, but the procedure is the same for the Air 3. I will concentrate on the RC2 controller, the one with a built-in screen as it seems to be the most popular by far. The other model available, the RCN2, is to be used with a smartphone, so an internet connection is always available, and most of the transfer procedures shown here are much simpler. In the description below you will find info about the pricing of the different configuration of the Mini 4 Pro and Air 3. The most effective way to store footage and photo made with a drone is to use a mini SD card inserted into the aircraft. In the camera tab of settings in DJI Fly App, it is possible to switch between the SD cards and the internal memory. The available space is displayed for both. Even though larger cards are available, I find that the 128GB mini card is more than enough as it can store about 3 hours of 4K footage. To transfer the files from a mini SD card to a computer, we need an adapter from mini SD to SD and the card reader that attached to the computer via USB. They are very affordable and you will find links to the one I use in the description of this video. Some laptop computers have an SD card slot, in which case the card reader is not needed. When the card is connected to a window PC, a folder named SD card will be visible. Open it in a new window and then open the DCIM file and then the folder named DJI001 containing the footage and photos. We can then copy the files to the desired storage location. The procedure is very similar for iOS devices, although the name of the files might be slightly different. The Mini 4 Pro has an internal storage of 2GB against 1.25GB for the Mini 3 Pro. It can store more or less 80 RAW plus JPEG images and about 3 minutes of 4K footage. This is not much, but it comes in handy when we forget to bring an SD card or when the card is full. To transfer the content of the internal memory to a computer, the remote controller is not needed. Make sure there is no memory card in the aircraft and connect the drone to a USB slot in the computer using the USB-C cable supplied. A folder named Internal Storage will appear. It contains two folders. By opening the one named DCIM, we access another one, DGI001, with the content of the internal memory of the drone. We can now copy it to a new folder on the PC. If you have brought a laptop to the filming location, we can quickly transfer the files to the hard drive, format the internal storage, and shoot some more footage and photos. On most occasions, a computer will not be available on location, but we can transfer the file to a smartphone, as we will see later. To transfer photos and videos from the drone to a smartphone or a tablet, it is possible to use quick transfer mode, much faster than a simple download. For users with the RC2 controller, the controller itself is not needed, but DJI Fly App must be installed on the remote device. I will be using a tablet, but the procedure is the same with a smartphone. In a smartphone or tablet, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functions must be enabled. On Android devices, access permission for the app must also be enabled. Launch DJI Fly App and then switch on the drone. When connecting the mobile device to the aircraft for the first time, Press and hold the power button of the aircraft for 2 seconds to confirm. A message will ask to switch to quick transfer mode. After hitting switch, the device tries to establish a connection with the aircraft. 
Then a message asks to join the Wi-Fi network of the drone. After hitting join, the tablet connects with the drone. The battery level of the aircraft is shown together with an icon View Album. By tapping on it, the photos and videos contained in the SD card of the drone will be shown with a thumbnail for each icon. If there is no memory card inserted in the aircraft, the content of the internal memory will be shown. On the higher part of the screen there is a menu to select all thumbnails, only the ones for videos, only the ones for photos or only the favorites. An item can be selected for download by a long press. If we press the icon on the top right, Batch Select Mode is activated. We can then select several items by tapping on the empty square on the top right for each thumbnail. Finally, we hit the download button on the bottom right. At the top left of the screen, the progress of the download is shown. Using Quick Transfer, the download is very fast, up to about 25 MB per second, which means that the 2 GB of internal storage of the Mini 4 Pro can be downloaded in approximately 1 minute and a half. To exit Quick Transfer mode, tap on the lighting icon on the upper right part of the screen. With the RC2 controller, it is possible to record the content of the screen during the flight. This is very useful, not only when making YouTube tutorials, but also for checking the settings and the flying modes used for each clip or photo. It can also help locate the drone in case of an accident. If you want to know how to take screen recordings and screenshots, please refer to my video about the RC2 controller by clicking on the link above. Unlike the previous RC model, the RC2 always stores screen recordings and screenshots in the 32GB internal memory, even when a memory disk is inserted. The procedure for transferring screen recordings to the memory disk is quite cumbersome. I prefer to use the internal memory of the controller by connecting it to my computer with a USB-C cable. The same procedure can be used to transfer to a smartphone. The content of the internal memory of the controller will appear as an icon named DJI RC2. Click to access the available space on the internal memory. Click again on the icon and then on the folder Movies to access all the screen recordings. I prefer to set the view to detail so that I can visualize the size and the recording date for each file. I can then copy the relevant files to the chosen destination. Click on this link to watch my video about all the settings for video with the Mini 4 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.